Okay, welcome back, and now we are starting to do some stuff in Python. So remember, I like to open my Python from Terminal. So if you don't have it on the bottom, type Terminal here, and up it comes. You type Jupyter Notebook, and it's going to come up in Chrome. Now here's the thing. We haven't talked much, but you have to save it somewhere good. It's working in this directory is going to be a mess. So mine's a little deep, but I'll show you I have in Documents. I have a work teaching folder. Then within work teaching, I have Python. Let's get down to Python. I have fall 18. Then in here I have class examples. Now I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a new Python 3 notebook. Remember we're using Python 3, we're moving up. I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna call it directories and lists. Remember, I don't like spaces, so hit rename. Your first cell, we're gonna go choose Markdown, and I give it a title, directories and lists. Put my name, and now it looks nice. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna see where we're working. If you type PWD, it will show us our path. So this is where we went, we went to users, BMAU, documents, work teaching, Python, fall 18, class examples. Oh my gosh, and I have a space there. So that's gonna make life a little bit more difficult. I avoid spaces. If we want to see what's in this directory, you could type ls, shift enter, and I have a few notebooks in there. I can move up in the uh, directory by doing cd dot dot. We can see what's in that directory, right? And then you can see which ones are directories, files, etc. But I wanna go back to class example. Let's see if we can do this. That's cd, since it has a uh, it has it blank, you can put the quotes, and you see how I hit tab to have it fill in CD, now we're back where we started. So we're ready to go. So that's a little bit about directories and moving around. So let's start to use Python a little bit. We could do a little math, six plus four is 10. Six divided by four is 1.5. The beautiful thing is Python 3 now does your math correctly. It should work. We should not run into an integer prompt. But since it's a program, we can set a variable. So we can say x equals 6, y equals 4, right, run. And I just put them in the memory of your computer. So now if you do x plus y, it's 10. x divided by y is 1.5. There's a few other things you could do. You could do x mod y to see the remainder. So that's sort of how you do it. And you can see what the type is. If you do type of x, so that's an int. But now if we say x equals, we can change them. We can say x equals 6.0, y equals 4.0. Run them, x plus y is still 10. But now if we do type of x, it's a float. And here is here are some funky things with pipeline. You can just go back up and rerun this cell and it'll redo it to float. So things can go out of order on you. But now we might want to print out those nicely. So you could do print, and then on Python 3, you have to put parentheses, so you can say print x, it will show it, right? We can say print, then we can go print x comma y, it'll show both of them. But you know what? And you can also say, say something, print my values, quote, put, now you can say my values at six and four. But you know what? We can actually make things much nicer. We can actually, they use this formatting string. So what you do is, Let's fix this up. Let's say I put in quotes. So the I'm gonna say x is, and you put in the squiggly brackets, and y is put in squiggly brackets. And you go to the right and you do dot format, and you, now you put in x comma y, and it's gonna fill take this x and put it into the squiggly bracket. Let's see. So where you see x is six and y is four. Then the last reason we're doing this is now you can control how they look. So I can put in those squiggly brackets, I can tell it how to print nicely. I can put, I'm going to say give me no, I'm going to say give me zero decimals, and this one I'm going to say give me three decimals. And I asked, I got to do 0.3 decimals, and there it goes. And it prints nicely. We're going to go through all of this more in class today. See you then.